This is a video of our trip to Pilot Mountain and all the detours that we took along the way. We started our day at Granny's Kitchen to get a big breakfast, had to stop and get gas, and then we were meeting some other people at Rudisil's store so that we could get off on our trip. And it turned out to be an adventure. We did lots of sightseeing. I stopped on the side of the road, you'll see, and took several pictures of Pilot Mountain as we were going. We had a big time. It was so much fun. And I cannot wait to do it again. So this is one of the pictures of Pilot Mountain that on the way, like you could see it as we were going. And then as we went, here's us pulling in the parking lot. Um, and the sights were just breathtaking, even though it was very hazy and very misty. This is the side of the mountain. So this is what we were looking at from the road, which is amazing. And this is like an overview. And they actually have a map there that's really cool that shows you all the different parts of the different places that you are seeing. It is, but you got to go forward to get it to engage. Yeah. Well, well, it's got to move. Yeah, we for the collar to lock right. in. <laughs> it's got to move. I hope they know. I hope they don't. That's going to be good. Yeah, they they all will. We'll be here today. <laughs> what do you do? Just come in too fast? Roll off the edge? Tell him to go forward a couple of feet and then back up and it'll come right out. Well, I mean, even two-wheel drive it will because yeah. once it starts rolling, it'll come over there. He, he doesn't know that he has four rednecks up here that could help him. Yeah. He doesn't know that. He's, got, he's just going to leave it parked there. Yeah, if he just goes up a little, you know, a foot or two and then hit it, yeah. then he can get out of it. Get a running gun. Yeah. Sorry. You're fine. We're just being entertained down here. I get it. I get it. I hope he gets out. Yeah. Say so pull and put it forward, driving back up. Say, like, good boy, good boy. He's just going to say hell with us right now. Yeah, I'll come back later. Yeah, safe face. I'll come back when it's hotter. Wait <laughs> <laughs> till nobody's here. I'll come back when ain't nobody filming. Ride a little bit, and Stu was there. And old Stu's out there. This made my heart so happy. So we stopped by to see Kenny Gwynn with his trials bike. Here's a picture that he took of me. He actually let me try it out and ride it around the parking oh, lot and I am now in love and absolutely need to get a child's box and I'm hoping that that's going to happen soon, especially since like our anniversary is coming up this weekend and I turned 50 in August, like those would be great celebration to get me a child's box, this is what I believe, so if Kenneth Stevens is watching, we need to make this happen. He already knows it. <laughs> they left it home on purpose. So right after we ran through a torrential downpour, like it was raining sideways. And so we pulled in, we needed some gas. This lady cracked me up. So their air condition was broke in this gas station and she was living her best life barefoot and all ran out of the store when it started raining and stood out there and she was loving it well while we were there these cool people come up with their broncos and it was pretty amazing like he had a whole picture book of how he renovated his so he shared his story she shared her story it was really neat that's what i love about these kind of rides you just meet all kinds of cool people they put your insects in those roses It'd be like a jeep. Uh, yeah. Wow, dude. Yeah. It's the original motor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. man. I love it. I just, he so says awesome. mine's cooler than his. I'm yes. like, no way. He's like, yes way. It is. Yes way. Because yes. it's more rare. Yes way. Right. Yeah. And you yes. make these forever like they did here. Right. <laughs> Eighteen ninety two. Yeah. We was here and they hadn't had it reopened. Yeah. It was still closed. And she took it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so then I had to make my money. Back. Yeah. I did, but 
I got a ton of stuff that it had never sold because it wasn't really that much market. While we were stopped here for lunch, these people were from Myrtle Beach and they come up on their motorcycles. So we were able to meet them and share their story, which was fantastic. Um, there was a really cool sign on the door of their bathroom. So I took a picture of it. Here it is. And I thought it was just funny. And I love neat and catchy stuff like this that you just don't see if you're trying to speed through. So this is the torrential downpour that we ran through the second time. We have taken lots of roads. You can see how fast they're moving. They are everywhere. There's some lightning. This was an absolute fantastic trip despite the rain, despite the heat, it was awesome. And the next day we were leaving for Cancun. So this was an awesome way to like send off and get one last ride in before. So this is Adventures Behind Bars. I forgot to say that at the beginning with an intro. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Um, I would love to have you join us on our amazing motorcycle and adventure journeys. So I will see you in the future and please do something that sets your heart on fire. Love you guys. Bye.